Jet Ski King's Cup World Cup Grand Prix 2012, presented by Thai Denmark, G-Shock, PTT Group, Thai Airway, Channel 3 Thailand, TOT 3G, the Government Lottery Office, Tourism Authority of Thailand, Sea-Doo Watercraft, Toyota, Port Authority of Thailand, and the City of Pattaya. Pro Ski Open, the next race coming up. People to watch in this one, Steven Duliash, world's number one from France, taking on Dustin Matsuris, world's number two. Coming up, let's have a quick look at the other participants in this one. Kevin Reiterer from Austria won the trophy back in 2008. We'll see how he does in today's Pro Ski Open. And of course, from Belgium, the number one woman in the world, Yuki Francois Kurahashi. Of course, her last name gives it away. She's from Japan. France again, Stephen Duliash. Look at his record, 2004, 2009, and 2011, the trophies from the Jet Ski World Cup Grand Prix. Hideyuki Kurahashi, ninth in the world from Japan. One of the four racers from Japan participating today. Let's have a quick look. Here's Mizuo Hidaki, trophy back in 2006 for him. He's Japan's number two. From Japan, here's Hiramasa Kaneko. He'll be on number J9, Naoki Sakurai on J6 from Japan. From the Netherlands, joining us this year for the first time, Max van der Valk on number 75. Still quite young, bright future ahead of him. From New Zealand, fifth ranked in the world, Trent Brown on number 11. From South Africa, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is the guy to watch out for, Dustin Matsuris. He's second in the world at the moment. He'll be on ZA1. His brother, Tyrone Matsuris, also, of course, joining us for the Pro Ski Open, the Jet Ski World Cup Grand Prix 2012. 20th in the world from the United Arab Emirates, Omar Al Rashid on number 76. From the USA, of course, you see the trophies there 2005 and 2010. That's Chris McCluggage. He'll be on number 30. Let's see if he manages to walk away with the trophy today or not. Again, from the USA, Rick Shirker on number 912, the Pro Ski Open. Jet Ski World Cup Grand Prix from Thailand, Natagon Pu Pak D. And Natagon, of course, is number one in Asia. Atit Wongpinta, also from Thailand, on T7. Atit is ranked number three in Thailand. Virapung Manichom on T6, also from Thailand. Virapung is number one ranked in Thailand. That's the course. Let's have a quick look at the highlights in this race. Who's off on a good start? Well, the leader coming out of the starting gate, Duliash from France. Look at those trophies lined up. He's having a good race here. We'll have to see how he finishes on this very first moto. Of course, he's got uh, four motos to race. Second place, McCluggage, as we had expected. Although that looks like there's going to be the race between the two of them, McLuggage and Duliash. Let's have a quick look. Oh, McLuggage trying to overtake Duliash doesn't quite do it. He's going to have to do a little bit better than that in the next lap. Of course, Duliash walks away with the first moto of the day on that Pro Ski Open. Three more motos to go. Quick look at the crowd. Crowd's having a good time. We're back for the second moto highlights. Pro Ski Open. Who's in the lead on this one? Duliash. Again, taking the lead in the second moto for the Pro Ski Open. Three trophies, of course. Is he going to be able to make it four? McCluggage is not going to give in that easily. Second place in terms of the first moto. Matsuris, fifth place from South Africa. What is he doing in the top three there? Let's have a quick look. Checkered flag. And it is Duliash taking first place on the second moto. 
Results of the second moto. Duliash, first place again, 60 points for the second moto. McCluggage, second place, 53 points. Shirker from the U.S., 48. Hideyuki from Japan, fourth place, 43 points. And Matsuras from South Africa, 39 points. Sixth place, Hiromasa Kaneko with 36 points. Seventh place, Mizuo Hidaka, 33 points. Eighth place, Yuki Francois Kurahashi, 30 points. Ninth place, Tyrone Matsuras, 27. And 10th place, Trent Brown with 24 points in second moto. Total scores after two motos. Fifth place, Matsuras, 72 points. He's 48 behind first lead, first place, Doliash there. Shirker there as well, 87 points. Hideyuki from Japan at 29 behind the leader with 91. McCluggage, 106 points. He's 14 behind Duliash. He's got a lot of work to do. Let's see what McCluggage has to say about his performance so far. About the race, I'm serious. Uh, Steven is going fast, but you know, yesterday in the second moto, I felt really good. I think I needed to maybe warm up a little bit more for the first one, so today I make a good warm up. And um, you know, then uh, the second one, I came very close to him at the end of the race. And hopefully, I need to win the next two motos uh, to become the, the the Kings Cup championship. You know, champion. It's a it's a great honor to be the champion. You know, the Kings champion. And um, I have done it before, so I can do it again. I've I've beat Steven before and out here, so I can beat Steven again. Getting ready for the third moto in the Pro Ski Open, crowd sitting and watching, waiting to see what's gonna happen in this moto. Of course, you heard McCluggage back there saying he's done it before, he's gotta do it again. He's gotta beat Steven Juliash for the next two motos if he wants to win that cup for the races here in Thailand. Well, let's see, the moto's about to start. Everybody lined up and off they go. Moto number three, who's taking the lead? Looks like, yes he is, McCluggage. But, well, he's trying to see whether or not Shirker is in there as well. But McCluggage makes that final split second decision. Takes the lead. Duliash coming up around the outside and coming in around on the second place. McCluggage and Duliash now on the inside track of the opening lap. On the outside, Matsuras, he's in the lead on the outside track. Let's see as they come past the grandstand, who's first, second, and third. McCluggage in the lead, as he said he was gonna do it. This is moto number three, he's gotta win this one, and the next one, of course, if he wants to take it away from Dulia. Second place, Matsuras in second place. That puts Duliash in third place this could get very exciting on the first lap McCluggage still in the lead Matsuras in second place Duliash in third there he is McCluggage 2005 and 2010 winner of the trophy is he going to do it again in 2012 we'll have to see Duliash third place he's got a lot of work ahead of him if he wants to take this race motor number three Battle for second place, Matsuras and Duliash suddenly battling for second place. We're not even talking about McCluggage in the lead. Duliash taking the inside track while Matsuras is on the outside. This is game. Oh, Duliash, what's happening here? He's taking the inside track. Oh, there goes Matsuras as well. Well, Duliash was trying to get into second place. Looks like it's going to be tight. There they go though, Duliash, despite his best efforts on the inside track, still in third place in motor number three. He's got a lot of work to go up. Where is McCluggage? It seems to be McCluggage is quite a ways ahead. Duliash and Matsura still battling it out for second place there. Duliash still quite a ways behind, at least the boy with Matsuras in second place from South Africa. This could really upset the entire race. Motor number three, still exciting. Duliash there, he's looking at first place and thinking, what's happened to me? Trying again to overtake Matsuras, getting very close, but those very tight twists and turns around the boys do take a lot of effort. 
Duliash trying his best to overtake Matsuras there. The crowd getting into it as well. Duliash, Matsuras. Duliash is trying to overtake, and he's done it. Coming around, but Matsuras is not about to give in. Duliash trying to stay in second place now, but Matsuras, no, Matsuras not giving it him just yet. Duliash almost off again. Matsuras coming around, still in second place in the third moto. Duliash still in the third. Quick look in slow motion. Duliash on the right hand side there. He's trying very much, but Matsuras is not giving in. Matsuras back in the lead on this one, thinking, I've got you. Duliash takes a little bit of a dip there. Matsuras in the lead, second place, still on that lap. Duliash has really been trying in this race, still in third place there. He's got to do better than that because, of course, he's got McCluggage to worry about who's in first place in this moto. McCluggage takes this one. If Duliash doesn't do better, his first place standing after two motos is in serious trouble. McCluggage, of course, still in first place. Matsuras in second, not wanting to give in to Duliash, who's still in third place there. Of course, McCluggage can't breathe too easy. Look at him. Behind him is Matsuras really closing in right now. So the battle that was going on between second and third place before between Duliash and Matsuras, suddenly it's turned around on McLuggage and he's got to watch his back because Matsuras is trying to get into first place. This is an interesting race. We've got the top racers from around the world here battling it out for first, second and third place in the third moto of the Pro Ski Open. This is what experience calls for. This is the kind of thing you need to do when you want to win a race. The last lap coming up here for McLuggage, hanging on by the skin of his teeth. Matsur is still in second place. And of course, Duliash still in third place. All three of them trying to get into that first place spot on this third moto. They've really, really got to get those points. McCluggage needs first place to even get close to Duliash, and he's got to worry about what Matsuras is going to do to him. All three of them trying. McCluggage there still in the lead on this one, although he's not that far ahead of Matsuras, who's in second place. And of course, just by the skin of his teeth. He's got it. And who's that on the inside? On the inside, that is Duliash coming in third on this moto. There we go. Let's have a look after this third moto. McCluggage taking first place. What does that do to his score? What does it do to Duliash's score by coming in third? And what does it do for Matsuras by coming in second? McCluggage, of course, very happy with his placing in this third moto. McCluggage there, 60 points he racks up for his first place. Matsuras, 53 for his second placement. Duliash, 48 for his third placement. Brown, 43 for fourth. And of course, Hideyuki from Japan in fifth place with 39 points. After three motos, the total scores Shirker from the U.S., 120, he's 48 behind the lead. Matsuras, 125, 43 behind. Hideyuki, 130, he's 38 behind. McCluggage, only two points behind Duliash, who's got 168. After the three motos, let's have a quick look and see what McCluggage has got to say about his performance and what Duliash is saying about McCluggage. Duliash fast, but you know, I believe you know, it's it's a new day. Uh, he's a little bit ahead for points, but he's probably going to be very nervous that he doesn't lose. And for me, I'm nervous, but I know I have more to gain. You know, he he has a lot to lose right now. I have to gain. Oh, Moto3, I had um, I didn't feel very good from last night. I went I went sick. So my team came and they give me vitamins. They give me everything so I can feel better. I, I was I was feeling so much better in. Uh, in Moto Force, and um, no, I'm just very happy. I just don't know what to say. But Cluggage, of course, sounding very confident. Duliash not about to give in. Stay tuned. Next, Moto number four, 
of the Pro Ski Open. Jet Ski King's Cup World Cup Grand Prix 2012, presented by Thai Denmark, G Shop, PTT Group, Thai Airway, Channel 3 Thailand, TOT 3G, the Government Lottery Office, Tourism Authority of Thailand, Sea Watercraft, Toyota, Port Authority of Thailand, and the City of Pattaya. Coming up, the fourth moto of the Pro Ski Open. Before the break, of course, you heard both Juliash and McLuggage talking about the competition going out on the fourth moto there. Neither one of them just about to give in. Juliash, of course, complaining that he wasn't feeling just quite well yesterday or a little bit earlier, so that's his excuse. Let's see. McLuggage was first in the third moto. Where does he start off on the beginning of the fourth moto? It looks like... McCluggage is back in the lead on the inside track. Let's have a closer look as they come around the boy there, and he's got to take the inside. Yes, it is. McCluggage in the lead on the fourth moto of this race. The Pro Ski Open. Brown on the outside is in the lead. So the question is, where's Dulyash? Coming around the grandstands after the opening lap, McCluggage in the lead on number 30. He said he was going to do it. Looks like he's doing it. Brown there in second place from New Zealand. Where did he come from? He didn't even place in the first five in the third moto. Suddenly he's in second place. Good place for him to be, of course, for McCluggage. Duliash, there he is, third place. He's got a lot of territory to cover if he wants to catch up to McCluggage, who's in first place there on the fourth moto, 205-2010. Of course, two trophies he's got. There's Brown from New Zealand, Duliash, three trophies. He wants to make it four. Let's just see what happens. Duliash there in third place. He's got to gain a lot of territory on Brown's. That's the battle right now. Brown and Duliash battling it out for second place. Of course, Duliash in third still. Very close to Brown. Brown isn't giving in just yet. And of course, McCluggage way up there in the lead. We haven't seen him for a bit yet. We'll have to see how far he is ahead of the crowd. Of course, Duliash in Brown. Duliash and Brown. Duliash still in third place. Brown in second place there. Duliash catching up on the back stretch of the course. Brown coming around on the first boy on the far side there. Duliash on the outside. Brown is not giving in. Duliash still a little bit behind, but this is where he shows what he knows about courses. He takes the inside on that green boy. Puts him into second place, Brown into third. Duliash is suddenly back in the game. Now all he's got to do, he's got to catch up with McCluggage, who's still way up there in first place. McCluggage, of course, he's got to make sure that he stays ahead of Duliash. He has a quick peek around behind him to see who's behind him. Hasn't seen anybody just yet, so he's a little bit more comfortable. Of course, Duliash having to come around some of the riders from the previous lap. They've caught up with them. Quick replay there. Duliash on the outside with Brown on the inside. Brown doesn't want to give it to Duliash just yet. But Duliash, of course, knows how this game is played. You got that one. I got this one on the inside. Bye-bye, Brown. You're into third place. Duliash into second. Of course, here we are back with McLuggage still in the lead. He hasn't seen that Duliash is catching up to him. He wants that first place. He's got two trophies. Duliash, of course, three. Duliash wants to make it four in this year, 2012. McLuggage there. Ooh, seems to be having a bit of a tiredness problem there. Slowing down a little bit, still in the lead, but Duliash. He's not going to give in. He wants that trophy just as bad as McLuggage does. McLuggage coming around. The boys on the right-hand side of the course. Still in the lead. 
Where's Juliash? There he is, not that far behind. I'd say probably less than an entire boy between the two of them. The crowd, too, is realizing what's going on. The McLuggage, he needs to stay in first place. Juliash has got to overtake McLuggage. That's how close they are. Two points apart. Let's, oh, what's going on there? McLuggage taking a little bit of a dip. That slowed him down coming across the top end of the course. Following Juliash catching up to McLuggage there. McLuggage seems to be tiring out. There he goes. Juliash just as McLuggage thinks he's safe. He gives up the power. Juliash just roars on by him as they come around the left-hand side of the course. Juliash back in first place on the fourth moto. He's got to stay there, but it looks like he's very comfortable staying in first place on any of the motos. McLuggage probably hasn't got a clue what's just happened to him. Last lap of the course. There he is, of course, Juliash in the lead. McLuggage trying to follow and try and catch up again. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to do it. Juliash in the lead. And we're getting to the checkered flag. It is Juliash taking the fourth moto, winning over McLuggage. And he knows he's done it on this fourth moto. He's taken the lead, the win, and he's got that trophy tied down for France. There he is, very excited, taking his victory lap. The flag of France flying. And he's a very, very, very happy man on this race. Let's have a quick look at the replay there. Juliash just does not let up, whereas McLuggage lets off the gas, slows down, and he misses his spot. Let's have a quick look at the overall results after moto number four. Duliash taking first place there, 60 points. McLuggage sadly in second place, 53 points. Hideyuki from Japan, third place, 48. Brown from New Zealand, 43 points. And Matsuris from South Africa, 39 points in fifth place. That's the total. There you see it. Duliash, although he was in third place in the third moto, after the win in the fourth moto, he, of course, takes it home with a total of 228 points. Very, very close race there with McLuggage, who's only nine points behind. At the end of the day, there he is, Juliash, extremely happy with his win. He's got his fourth trophy. I feel very good, you know, I won uh, for the first time this, uh, this King's Cup and I'm um, just very happy. Thank you for your support, thank you for uh, the type of people who are doing a uh, lot of effort to, to bring the best racer in the world over here. I'm just very happy now.